Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. Have you ever wondered what's the difference between modern art, abstract art, figurative abstract art, and Art Nouveau? We're going to do an acrylic painting in the Art Nouveau style, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Hey, Ginger. We have no intro right now. We have no intro. <laughs> no okay, so this the is intro. the minute, right? <laughs> Not even a minute. So, hey, so Ginger, what is this? So you're going, well, this certainly couldn't be Art Nouveau. No. <laughs> for those of you who participated in the puzzle project for the, in, the, uh, in our great community puzzle project, this is an 18 by 24 painting that I did, and it's over nine hours in lessons. I have over nine hours in painting this, and this will be in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting uh, very soon. Here's the, um, as you can see, here's the... Um, that's the original. So that's the original, right? You can see where we got that, right? And then this is what our... Remember, we had 84 different people no, paint... No, 64 in this 64 one. 64 in this one. Paint this, and this is the... And everybody was given a little tiny piece, and that was the puzzle. That's part of the community puzzle project. We've got another one going now, and if you're interested in playing and being a part of our community puzzle project, that's fun. And if you did this painting, uh, just know in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, we will have... This is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial, all nine hours of it, for 1824 Canvas, and that will be available later this month, because it's going to take John a while to edit it. But I was excited. You're the first people to see it. I thought it was way no, cool. No, there's a second. I saw it. Oh, that's true. John and saw it. And the staff it. saw it. Yeah, it's true. But, well, <laughs> you got to see it, right? So John's going to carry, take this out, right? Yes, I'm going to take that away from you. Okay. and um, Thank you. And now we're going to get down to the business of, uh, do you remember that gray paper that we found the other day, John? Did you bring that in here? Um, we're going to talk about Art, art Nouveau, abstract art, modern art. And I want to just take a second and do that. Um, here's some examples. Here's an example of abstract art, okay? Um, it, you can tell it's a flower, but it's been... Um, uh, Let's see, I think it goes this way. Uh, uh, a lot of times abstract art can go a lot of different ways, but you can see this is, you know, it's really almost figurative abstract because you can tell it's a flower, okay? And then you, I think, you know, uh, I guess I should have gotten my other example of abstract art, um, which I don't have handy for you. Um, and this is another example of um, figurative abstract art. Both of these could be considered modern art. Okay, so both of these would be considered modern art, even though they're not abstract, okay? So and then, then you think of the abstract art that's just color, okay? Just layers of smudge colors and a few lines. So you really don't know. It could be kind of open to your interpretation. Somebody sees a person in the clouds, some clouds, somebody sees ocean, somebody sees something. Uh, that would be what we would call abstract art. But Art Nouveau was, was, uh, had, had kind of a short life. I want to say that had a little bit of a short life, but um, that's what we're going to be painting tonight. Now, somebody asked, who was the artist? I'm the artist. I'm the artist, and this was a painting I designed, and um, I did a little bit of my design on the computer so that I could really g get the um, get the, the set, flow. Get the flow of this. All right. Now, before I go too much further in this, let's just take a moment, you guys. We're we've got, we're a part of our lots. One of our um, part of our live audience, somebody in our live audience, if you've, you're at a drawing, we're going to win two paintings tonight, um, the one I'm doing, and last week, the lady that won the painting said she'd already won a QQ uh, picture earlier and, and wanted, put it back. We traded her for something else. We traded and, her for the Salvador kit that I got to draw for. Yeah, so this painting also will be, uh, you might be able to win uh, t tonight, and, um, you know, if you enter, okay? And as you recall, um, this one, I was surprised more people didn't uh, watch this video because look how great this little painting looks, you know. I think it's a good you know, And I noticed that the views were way down on this, and I'm sorry to see that because I think that there's some great tips on how to do this jar with a, you know, filled up with some fluid and the flower. And it's kind of a neat picture, I thought, all right? I thought so, too. So anyway, someone's going to win that. Are we doing any Salvador paint sets? We're doing another Salvador and paint set. Another Salvador it's paint three, set. It's a three-day so giveaway. It's a three, three quick. You have three chances to win something. 
Here's the Salvador paint kit. This is the, the their older version. You get the newer version with the extra white and the fancy caps, and it's pretty nice. So someone's going to win that also, all right? So that's what we have for you tonight, um, which I think is kind of neat. And I wanted to just say that right away before we got going too far, right? Yes and yes? I thought we were going to do a fist bump. Well, we're going to do a fist bump. What I wanted to do <laughs> right now is that we're at a... We're a global audience. We got how many people out here right now? I have show 270. About 270 people I have. Hopefully we'll get a few more. But look at you guys. Let's just take a moment and do a fist bump. Fist to bump me back. Let's just we can't be in the same room together, but bam, let's pretend we are, <laughs> right? So all right, fist bump me back. There you go, baby. We're we're up for that. Okay, so in this in this painting that I'm doing, I've got some very interesting colors in it. You probably could tell a little bit from the thumbnail. It didn't show up that well. But I'm going to do some light turquoise blues and some dark blues. And talk a little bit more about Art Nouveau. You think about, this is, um, did any of you guys watch um, a Perot when PBS did all those Perot um, murder mysteries? If any, and those were, oh, I guess it was about 15, 20 years ago when they were, they were every week on, on public broadcasting and, and I'm sure they were in England before that. You know, we get the paintings. We get those movies after you guys have seen them. Anyway, in that, um, in those series, the houses and everything, even when you think about when Perot was supposed to have lived, were, um, it was all art, all art nouveau design, okay? Which is sort of interesting in itself, yes? That's kind of, you know, they, this was, um, the houses were modern, lots of glass. You can look it up on Wikipedia if you want about, Art Nouveau. And then uh, Florida was another place where Art Nouveau became very popular. Sometimes people think of it as modern art that kind of goes in Florida. And, um, you know, we'll talk about that too. So it's it's a different style of art. I've never done one of these paintings like this on, um, on YouTube, but there's no time like the present to rectify that. Yes and yes. So I want to th th thank you for that. And um, what else, John? Any questions? Why, why I'm putting out paint? Usually Not that I see out. flying by at the moment, just kind of settling in, hellos. And okay. So today we're going to be doing a 6x8 canvas, some Art Nouveau. Which is an actual, real canvas. Well, that, that, that came out too much. It just kind of sputtered out, out there, didn't it? Never. It's all right. That's kind of a magenta color. And uh, I've got... Um, what is this dark, what is this? Um, this is kind of a dark purple color. Put that over here. And, uh, and of course, we're going to want, I think John cleaned up, didn't you, honey? Yes, I did. John cleaned up. He's so proud of himself when he does that. Just, <laughs> you know, somebody said, well, what did you do on your day off yesterday? And, uh, Man, organization we, has begun. We started to organize uh, some of the things in our house. I said, I don't want that. I just want, really want white. Not sure where you put the white. Look down, and there's one drawer down below that has all the tubes that were just hanging out. Oh. They're all grouped together. Okay. I don't think this was it. This was one that stuck. All right. This isn't helpful, John. I knew where everything was a minute ago. No, you didn't. No, I don't know where anything is. So there. I know where nothing is anymore. I just needed white paint. How hard is that? It's yellow paint. Don't want that. Oh, the trials and tribulations. Here, I found some. All right. Good thing I found some, man. All right. Well, we normally try to do this before we start, but we got a little... We got, it's Monday. You guys, it's Monday. So, all right. So there's some colors it's out Monday's there. It's Monday's a live show. This is how we roll. Yeah, it's a live show. <laughs> I think I want a little bit of yellow. Forgot that. We want a little bit of yellow. And, of course, if you have any questions for us, what you need to do is um, uh, put them in all caps. We'll try to answer them. If you have a burning question, um, you know, you can either leave it in the comments or write us directly. Someone said, how do we contact you? You go to gingercooklive.gallery, contact us. That gives you some good um, um, feedback on... Uh, uh, you know, if you have questions, we, we do answer them. Now, you had a question, John, from a gal that, um, uh, in Australia, and she was calling her 
American Express card and um, and got some other strange person and she wanted to know could they have hacked her phone. Can, can people hack your phone these days, John? Can your phone be hacked? Sure. Anything can be hacked. Is that likely? No. Not likely, though. Not likely. Not likely. So probably not, right? Nope. nope. You know, if it happened again, what you do is you call the phone company and tell your, you know, because they, yeah. they can trace all calls. They can see exactly who They know exactly you. where you're going and what you're doing. Oh, yeah, they do. Man, it's like... Privacy's Santa. out the window, people. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah Get they over know. It. They know. Absolutely. How many colors are you going to use tonight? I don't know. I just put some out because I felt like it. What better reason, yeah? I think it's a perfect I reason. I felt like putting out colors, so there. Boom, boom. How is the puzzle going? Well, there's a topic that needs to be discussed. Yeah, we'll do that during the one of the drawing after breaks. We, after we get a few more people in the house. Yeah. Did you redo, will you be doing another painting using absorbent ground? Um, I've got, I, I'll tell you, one of the ones we did with absorbent ground was the tulips. But it, on YouTube, it's a tall, like, um, 12 by... 18 or something, or what was it, 6 by 6 by something? No, it was, What's like, yeah, it was a tall, skinny one. It was a tall, skinny one, and that's right, and they're tulips, and it was a, a band, was it a Saison tulips, or? Ye I think so. Yes. And it was, like, we did that with absorbent ground. Um, we did a wave in water with absorbent ground, um, but um, we might, we might do some more with the absorbent ground. I think it's sort of fun. Where it really shines is in your, um, um, uh, in, is in your, um, I'm drawing a circle here. See that? <laughs> this is about three fingers above here. Oh, really? Is that what here. that is? Yeah, it's a circle. Okay. That's the wheel to my tractor. I know, John. It's just, it's good to want things, okay? It really looks yeah. like it. Yeah, that it's was good a to want things, one. right? There's our little, our little base it. right here. I have it. Do I have it? Yeah. Okay. So normally I would make this. Uh, <laughs> there, something like that. All right. So there's like about. Um, someone says, "Well, what did you do?" Well, what I did was I. This is a little six by eight real piece of canvas. It's just peach. Do you guys know how to make peach? No. White and yellow and red makes peach. White, yellow, and red. Uh huh. Mostly white and yellow. And when yellow you say yellow, you're saying cad yellow. Cad yellow medium, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mostly that, right? And um, so then this is our. Uh, let's see. How do we got here like this? Um, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're. I would have liked to have done this. Just slightly bigger, but this is what the size we're doing it. All right. So again, we're trying to keep it. It's sort of it's sort of abstract, but it isn't, and it's very soft colors. So one of the things we can do is we can make make a gray. Now to make a gray, you can take a little bit of purple, and white, and a little yellow. Okay, mix that all together, and maybe a little blue. And I bet we're using yellow because it's a complement. Yeah, yellow's a complement. All right, so this is sort of blue color. Now, if we add more white to that, like that, we've got sort of this blue-gray color. And if I add a tiny bit of red to that, there we go. Kind of gray's like all the colors mixed together with white, really, is what it is. But this is just sort of more, kind of a more of a warm, purpley mauve gray. And I'm just going to come around here like this on top of the... Um, let's see what happened here. There, I want this color... Uh, just on top of this little area above here like this and paint this sort of this light gray Now was that type that was titanium white wasn't it that I just grabbed? That might not have been That might not have been titanium John Could have been your sinker. Yeah, I think it was and I don't know where my I know, I'd like a brand new tube of white paint Please somewhere just give me a new one and you can deal with where you put the other one later Because this was not light enough. That's why it didn't Lighten as fast as I wanted it to. This, this isn't this isn't covering right, and that's because it was um, um, uh, not white. Zinc white is a transparent white, so and I could tell because it wasn't covering my area as well as I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to lighten this up just a bit, and here's my this. I'm going to make this pretty 
pretty, the gray in here, just slightly lighter here, in here, like this. Gonna kind of come down here like this, and just, if I'm just putting in my background, and um, there's no, you know, if your wiggle isn't quite the same as mine, I don't think that matters, because we're, we're, we're just doing, we're doing a, a, a vase of flowers, but in a very, very soft format. That's what we're going for, is very, very soft colors, okay? So, ah, there's our new tube of white. Perfect. Thank you, John. All right. So, that's, and I want this same color on the front of my vase. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than I did. Just had it a little bit big here, so I'm going to make it just slightly smaller than the circle I have. So, this circle's about, where's my rulers? You know, this is so fun. I love it when you clean up. I just love it when John cleans up, because it's just anybody's guess where anything is anymore. Wine, wine. Anytime you, let's see, oh, here's a ruler. I just feel like I should share that with you, since you want to know how big this circle is. This was uh, about an inch and a half right here. And it's about two fingers up from the bottom here. So you give me the actual measurement on the circle, but two and a half <laughs> fingers up from the bottom. Well, for those who don't want to fool with it, right? It's an inch and a quarter up from the bottom, okay? And it's I'm just about, trying to understand about, the logic uh, here. about uh, two inches from the side and about three, inch, th three and a quarter inches from that side. Not quite in the middle. All right. Slightly so to the right. So slightly to the right. And let's get a little more white with that and lighten this up a bit. And if you know, if you're not sure about making a circle, just um, uh, find something round, trace it. That works pretty good too. So, all right. So here we go. We've got um, here's our background color, our background, and then we've got this. Okay. And uh, let's see. We're gonna make a little bit darker gray over here, a little bit of purple and red, and a little bit of yellow. And a little bit of blue and that's a kind of a darker gray and we'll put a little bit of zinc white with it since we have it out okay so here's a little bit of a darker purple color over here for the most part Art Nouveau is in um, kind of pastel colors but there can be some dark contrast okay so we're gonna um, I'm just gonna put this paint this one in darker and I don't know why I'm using a little brush when I have a perfectly big brush right here. It takes just seconds to do when you have a bigger brush. Karen says absorbent ground arrived Saturday so anxious to try it after two coats I'm not getting any wicking is it because only two coats something else am I doing it correctly? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to wick if you missed it you've got to miss it with a little water to get it to wick. After you put it on, and I would say two coats is not enough, unless you, you should do thin coats, and they should be like four or five thin coats. The more coats you have, the more wicking it will do. But like Ginger said, when you get ready to actually paint on it, you want to mist it. So just like a watercolor paper, you mist it so then it'll spread for you. Or you use more water in your paint. Yeah. But it should mist. It should go out. Uh, Brent says, John, I was watching your first painting lesson video last night. Did you continue lessons? No. Well, he did. There were more of those. We had he about, did. we just took them down. John did that. We did like five, four or five of those. Yeah. Yeah, he did continue, and we just took them down. They weren't getting a lot of views. We just took them down. We should put them over in the Beginner Academy. We should put them in the Beginner Academy. We'll put them over in the Beginner Academy. That's where yeah. we'll stick them for the, our guys over there. Okay, so I want to say that this is my darkest right here like that around this side of the circle from about one o'clock and it's it goes this line here is parallel to the top and bottom of the canvas right here okay looks like a canteen doesn't it it does so far looks like a canteen All right so there's this I, I still think you can turn it into a tractor wheel I oh, know you do okay I so then we're hopes. just going to kind of outline that and we've got this kind of this is our darker darkest purpley color and we're going to go ahead and Outline this. What does Art de Vaux mean? Art, uh, new art. It's French for new art. Oh, new art. Well, there you go, Susan. Somebody knows French. 
the VU. Yeah, all right. So then down here at the bottom, I want some purple. Here, kind of like down here at the bottom. You're all over the place. I could move this no, up. No, no, just, just stay. <laughs> A little Keep purple and red together with that and make this dark purple color. I want to come up here like this and just start like about like that. Kathleen says, what is wicking? Uh, have you ever spilled um, uh, water on a piece of paper and it starts to spread out? That's called wicking. Acrylic so watercolor, watercolor artists count on the wicking effect to get a lot of, the, um, a lot of their um, interest in their painting. Is it because paper naturally wicks when you put water on it and wants to. Yeah? Yes. So that's that's kind of what that is, right? And let's see, let's kind of a little. And to bit get more. to acrylic to do it on a canvas, you have to use absorbent ground, which is you're applying basically, I guess, watercolor paper to your canvas. Exactly. All right, so that's our. Um, oh, Alice would like to say, Ginger, I bought the hair product, Chi Silk Infusion, and I love it. Thank you for mentioning it. Oh, it's, it works great, doesn't it? It's good stuff. I'm glad you liked it. She won't <laughs> share it with me though. Well, I would, John. No, you wouldn't. I told you to get a little while. I'm going to dry this before I do anything else, but you oh, like to talk my. about the... You know, you've got to be ready to talk you know, about I was the organizing. The day, yesterday was the day off. Well, we have day offs that, now. You know, look, let's let's not be... You know, you know that there's going to be... Well, you um, think the stuffy staff could have done something. Yeah, well, you know you're going to um, want to... Um, Talk about that puzzle project for a minute for those. Oh, ones. I can do that. Yeah, so do that while I dry. Okay, dry. All right, while she's gone, we have what's called the Community Puzzle Project, and right now the Bacharach Village is in swing. And I'm starting to get some pieces back, and they are looking really fantastic. I'm quite excited, excited about what I'm getting back. Um, I've only gotten maybe 25 out of 84. I have not heard from everybody. Everybody hasn't checked in. So I'm trying to come up with a better way to communicate with everybody because what's currently, uh, what I'm currently doing is not working. So I need to find another way to communicate with everybody to make sure, one, that they're still involved and want to do the puzzle, and two, have got the puzzle piece to do it. So anybody that has ideas with that, please use the contact us on communitypuzzleproject.com. So are we back? If I turn, did you put my sound back on? Yes, I did, my queen. I would never forget you. You have in the past, so we have to oh, That's the questions. past, my queen. Yeah, you chastised to... me. You tortured me. I, I, have, <laughs> I have corrected my ways. Good. Good. It's good to hear these things, right? Group, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, most people would say that's the face. Fist bump, <laughs> gang. Woo, yeah, whoa, whoa. whoa. Put a fist bump. <laughs> woo -hoo. Yeah, Woo. most people would think uh, Facebook Messenger would be the way to do it, but the truth and reality is no. A lot of people that use Facebook don't even know what Messenger is, and a lot of people don't even use Facebook. So that's not the way to do it. All right, so we've got some white. We'll figure out something, though. We've got some titanium white here, and I want to do... A brand new with, titanium white. brand new titanium white, and I want to go with my... I want to gray my purple out again. Okay, let's, let's gray that purple out one more time. A little bit of magenta in it. There you go. Gray, a little bit more white, a little bit of blue. Julie says, Ginger, your hair looks great. I love your bangs. Wish mine would lay like that. Let me see your bangs tonight. Well, they are quite shiny in my suit. Well, I did a curling iron, a flat flat iron on them. Oh, see, I've never done that on mine. No. Oh, I don't have bangs. Wait. No, you don't, John. But it's no. okay. It's good to, you know. It's all, again, Facebook is not going to be a solution. Too many people do not use Facebook. All right, so you can see where we're... I know, it's hard to believe, right? We're going to put a little bit more of this kind of gray color in the background, a little bit more, just give it a second coat. There you go, kind of, kind of a combination, doesn't have to all be exact. I don't want to, I want some kind of a two-tone there. Now what I want here is I want to put in, I want to make a peach color. So we talked about that before, so we're going to talk about a little bit of uh, magenta maybe. 
and a little bit of yellow. Just a touch. Just a touch, kind of a light yellow. Because it doesn't look like the cad. There you go. That's a, let's put a little bit more yellow in. Okay. Now that's a lovely peach color. You see how see how light that is. So I'm going to put this peach color in here like that. Well, a little bit pinker. It's a little yellow. Okay, so just just a touch pinker. Okay, I'm gonna come up here like this, and. Uh, now we did have a, an issue with the commenting on the website. They did an upgrade, and unbeknownst to me, when they did that upgrade, they turned off the submit button for when you made a comment. That has six, since been fixed. Who did that? The upgrading people. Put a little bit of orange in And somebody it wrote me, and they at least contacted me through Contact Us and said, I want to let you know how wonderful you are, and which I always love to hear. And she goes, I couldn't make a comment because there was no way for me to submit it. And I went and looked, and I go, huh. I wonder when that happened. Yeah, these are the great mysteries of life, aren't they? When, 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 when did somebody decide to just change stuff, you know? Everything was just great, and then it yeah. wasn't, you know? Do you ever... There you go. So I'm gonna. Just yeah, we have Brazil in the house today. Hello, Brazil. Wow. All right. So there's let's let's gray this up a little bit. Just add some of that gray color to it and put this light. I'm gonna put more white with my brush here. Put this a little bit lighter back here. There we go. All right. Do do do. Kind of like some little rolly feels like this. And uh, some of that pink, some of that peach underneath is showing through. Yes and yes. And uh, that looks pretty good. Now if I put a little bit more orange in this, I can have a little bit more orange coming down this way. And if I do white and red, you know, magenta, that's like a pink color. Very, very pale though. Won't do anything too bright. Coming down there like that. So one, one. Um, one line is, would be slightly different. Does that make sense? So what the trick is, is like there's not, th these colors vary. It doesn't go all the way across or, you know. There we go. So something like that. And then I'm going to rinse the brush because I had too much paint on it. And I'll come down here with, oh, I don't know. Let's just say that there was something happened down here with my, a tablecloth. Oh, that's a tablecloth. Yeah. Let's put something like that. Here's a little peach coming under there, too. Then if I add a little bit of purple to this color, just a little bit coming over here, I might have a little bit of a, let's see. Let's try a little bit of something a little darker. A little bit more of a shadow color. I want to some orange in there, something darker here. I might come up here like that and say, there's just a few little spots in here that are different. And then a little bit darker with the purple. Same color. I want to come back here from my base and do a shadow while this is still wet. Okay, so there's a little shadow back here from my vase. I mean, it's it's just different, right? It is so far. It's just it's just different, and I know it is different. And then you're going, I don't get it, Ginger. But you know, what's the fun of watching these things if you don't learn something new every time you watch? If you show you something different, I mean, this may never be your style, but it's good to see how you know how's it done. You could look at a painting maybe, and you'll see something in the style. And go, I can I know how to do that. Ginger showed me. I know how to do that. Question for Ginger. If I send a painting through the mail without the frame, I'm talking like an 18 by 24, taking, taking of the stretcher frame, how would you do that? Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't we let John answer that in the commercial because he's the one that ships everything. But basically we ship stuff all the time. And... Um, the thing is you I'm have not sure to, if you're asking that you're going to take it off the stretcher. I wouldn't take it off. 1824, you can mail that just, one. You can mail it right on the stretcher. And, and sometimes you can find a mirror box, you know, a box that, um, that ships the mirrors. And, and 
these some of these movie companies you look in the yellow pages or I guess I don't know on Google. Or if you make smart purchases from Amazon, you can. You can. That's what we typically do. Yeah, make smart <laughs> you make smart purchase on Amazon, so you've got a. So you have a box. Let's see. Well, I didn't mean to. Or like a UPS store or FedEx. One of those guys can help you box that up. I just uh, got in the wrong paint there, you guys. But I gotta get another little quick coat on this. It's always fun to. There we go. Yeah, you can. Um, uh, there's a little peach in this coming up here. Can you make a front. yellow orchard? What, what? This? That's. No, can you make it? That's a question. Yeah, you can. You can. Mary's um, asking that. Mary, yeah, you can. You what can. colors would you mix and create yellow? Probably orchards? you'd have to start. You have to have yellow because it's a primary color. You start with yellow and maybe. Um, uh, if you uh, try a little tiny bit of diacetine purple. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I would have gone burnt umber. Well, you can try that too. Um, Probably going to be somewhere with, in between you know, there. Just maybe a little bit of both, okay? All right, so now we're going to go. I think this is dry enough. We're going to go into some of our lighter colors here. I want this pretty blue color. Sort of a turquoisey blue is what I'm going for here, right? I'm going to come up here like this. Now, I'm going to get all the water out of my brush because I want to smudge this in here like that so that it's not, I don't want to, it's not a patchwork quilt. There's just smudges. Think about, think about mist and smoke. I'm going to put some of this turquoise blue color here. Okay, and the same thing over here. I'm just gonna go. Maybe a little bit of some some light and dark blues here. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this purple. U-Haul sells the mirror boxes. Okay. And again, if you do remove it from the treasure bar, I saw somebody make a comment, roll it up with parchment and put it in a tube. That's what I would do if that's how you did it. Yeah, you got. You can do either. Either way. But something that size, I unless there was a reason to remove it from the stretcher, I guess if you're going overseas, I probably would do it that way then. But if you're staying in your country, I just box it. Box yeah. it and ship it. Um, the place over by us um, that uh, that d does shipping, mail a mail and more place, one of those kind of places. They um, they'll um, ship for you. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of yellow in this. Well, just a slight bit of. Christina would like to know how do you know what color goes down first, the base, the undercoat. The underpainting. Well, I always look for the color underneath the color. That's what I'm looking for. What's I try to find the color underneath the color. But you have to have something on there. I was commenting to someone today, and I think this is too dark. I've got to lighten this up. So, I was commenting on someone to, to someone today about that and the idea that um, that if you don't put enough paint down before you start, then you start to see the canvas uh, through. Um, and the paint's really harder and to the paint, And it just you see all the little bits of the canvas. And, you know, if you look at photographs of our work, you don't see that. See? You don't, you don't see that at all. It's a little magenta on them here, like that. i will wipe that on the edges. There you go. All right, I'm liking that better. Yes and yes, a little magenta right here. I'm going to put that in retrospect balance. Here we go. It's actually kind of, it's an interesting, to me this is a very interesting painting. I don't know if you guys like it, but to me it's very interesting. Because it's just, there's so many different ways to paint something. And how you see the world. But here's the thing. Let's just talk about how 
this all started. The artist um, originally, in order to be an artist, say 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 before 1800, right? Say in the 1700s and back, if you wanted to be an artist, you had to pretty much go to a um, some sort of art, apprentice under an art master, and um, you know, and you had to learn how to make your own brushes and paint and all that stuff. The paint tube wasn't even invented till the time of the Civil War, which would be around 1865. So by the time that Monet and Van Gogh's, and the camera was uh, invented around there too. The camera was a little bit before the Civil War. So what happened was is that um, artists, up until the point of the paint tube, you know, they were still apprenticing and going to art school and all that stuff and learning all that stuff, right? And um, then when they got the, then when the paint tube was invented, some some enterprising artists who maybe kind of sucked as artists but had gone to art school and were pretty good at mixing the paint, started their own paint companies, started selling paint to people. And, um, you know, that's when Windsor Newton got started with their watercolors, paints, so forth. So anyway, that's, that's how that worked. Well, then, um, uh, th then the, um, I've got to put some more purple out somewhere. I've got, got a little sidetracked okay so th so then because of the camera um, people had a f and the cameras got better and they people could then well, I have a photograph what can I do that's a little bit different we already have a photograph of the artwork and so then this is how art start people artists begin to explore whole new ways of um, of painting stuff does that make sense that's a, just that's what they needed to do to um, to, to find your self-expression, and some things worked, and some some things didn't. Quite frankly, that's kind of how that works. All right. <laughs> so, not much see. different than it is today. No. It's just um, there's a lot of people don't like modern art, or they don't like art art nouveau, or they they just plain don't like it, and that's okay. You don't have to. You know, it's it's not for everybody. Okay. It absolutely is not. I think I'm going to go into the purples. I think I'm. In order for me to get this to work, okay, that's sort of fun. So anyway, this is how this kind of art came about. It didn't last very long, though, did it? Well, I mean, it's, I don't know, last long. There's still, I mean, there's still artists that paint this and sell their art like this. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to come up with it. It's doable, but it's not all that easy to do. See, I want that. The shadows are always darker before they, then they get lighter as they go away. That's something you should write down. Shadows, the closer they are to the object, they're darker, and as they go farther away, they're lighter. Okay, just as a piece of trivia here, I think a little take a, this a little bit of blue and purple here, and we'll get something a little bit darker in here. It's interesting how acrylics dry darker normally, but for some reason we're not getting that effect right now. So there's our very strange um, background color. Put some of this light blue in it. It matters. We'd like to know what do you think of folk art? Do you paint in that style? I don't paint in that style, but I mean it's another style of art that people uh, did. Again, folk art's very pretty. Grandma Moses was sort of a a very successful folk, folk art painter, and she didn't. But you think about uh, uh, Russian folk art and folk art that's been around for generations, All right? So, uh, see, I think I want. Elizabeth, Elizabeth says, is there going to be a June photo challenge? Yes, there will. It's going to be posted before next Thursday's live show. 
I've got it all ready to go. Yeah, he does too. Okay, so um, what we're doing here like that. There we go. So. I right. admit, this is just very interesting how this is all coming together. It's just, it's different, isn't it? I it mean, it's, it's, just, is. it's just, it's just totally different. More as it says, I wish I could see the reference photo. If you look at the thumbnail, that's what Ginger came it, up it, with it, as her reference. Yeah, that's my reference, Marsha. Martha. That's my reference, sorry. That's an interesting comment from Heather. We'll hold that for later. We'll have to see how it develops. Now, it's really started darker, so some of this got a little dark on me. The back of rack puzzle pieces are looking very good. You guys did pay attention. Um, I only had a couple come in with too low a resolution. But they're a lot better than the first round, which I was hoping for, and I'm sure the third one would be even better. But yes, yeah, I'm excited to get this one together. I just gotta figure out how to get a hold of everybody. All right, so I'm gonna take a little of this white paint right here in that light blue color and just go over this with a little brush. So there's just okay. So we got a little bit of the blue there. See that? We put. I'm going to put a little bit of this blue over here. So now yeah, let's, this is fun, let's do this. Let's put some feet on our, on this right there, there you go, okay. Put some feet on our base and uh, put a little dark line in between here like that. All right, so I'm just trying to get the stuff that I have to do a dark line on. I can come back and, and do more, but um, so far I'm happy, right? You're going to do this, a little pod here, a little pod right there. Okay, and you're going, wow, just, just I know, it's <laughs> weird. <I know. laughs> you know, see some of the comments on the things they're seeing in this picture as you're doing it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, just... Give me a chance. All right. I oh, yeah, to, that's why I'm not sharing I, I, them do, with you. Do you have to, do you have to, um, anything you can dry before I keep anything, I'm drying? Anything I could dry? Well, dry sure, I, I could go uh, dry the dishes or, you know, do a load of laundry or to dry that. I mean, hey, hey, dry, I'm drying. <laughs> deal with it. All right, she's gone for now. Good deal. Queen gone. Okay, um, I guess really my major problem with the Community Puzzle Project is I have 84 people and I send out 84 emails, but I have no idea if they've got them. So I need to figure out how do I communicate with the people that are in the list that they can, that I know that they're getting my message one way or the other. I can't have people always going back to the, I, I don't know, that, that's the biggest deal. What? How do I how do I know my email got out and people see it? I don't know. I wish there was one. Isn't there a program you can get where they can see if somebody opened it? 
Didn't there used to be something like they that? They used to do that, but that got into privacy things, and they quit that. Oh, is that right? Yep. All right, so. I can't see how to send a picture. It's on the website. Um, there's a form to fill out. It's a real simple form this time. If you go to the Bacharach Village, you can see one of the posts will say, uh, send, me your you know, send me the photo form. Real simple. Yeah, those that read it, I get a reply, but those that don't, <laughs> well. do you want people to reply to you when they um when Well, they I had a little check-in sheet, and, and, you know, I had, you know, 30 people check in that way, but I still have 50 people that I don't know if they're around yet. Well, I have an idea. I'll have to look at that soon. I'm a, I have an idea. It just oh, came to me. Yes. I'm telling you what. Yes, my queen. The next time you do this, in order to be in the, take all the names off the other, you know, the village people, right? The village make people. A, make the next people sign up for the village again, and they got to send you an email saying they signed up. Um, well. No? No. That wouldn't work? Why wouldn't that work? I'm just curious. Sounds, well, sounds because then you're, how am I communicating to them to do that? Well, we just, uh, we, we put it on the... Um, well, see, they're not, they, you know, you have 84 people that don't realize they need to go to the communitypuzzleproject.com to see what they're doing. I mean, we put it out on YouTube, we put it in Facebook, we've announced it. Well, then it. they can't be in it. That's it. Sorry. Yeah, I get, get to be in the project. We're just going to have to be a little bit stricter and say, you know, if I don't hear from you within like three days, I'm going to take you're, your piece. You're, 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 you're out of the project. That's easy. I mean, what do you guys think of that? I mean, a three day response, and I got to go to the next person. Yeah, go to the next person, you know, absolutely. I gave them a simple form to check in. Just go in there, check in. Check in. I'm here. Got it. And to verify, I gave you the right piece because I did send out a wrong piece last time. I have some great ideas for this project. I have one that I, I want to see if I can get some people to do this one. It's going to be really fun. We haven't done any paintings with daisies that I recall, John. If we have, I have not seen any paintings with mm, daisies. I don't think we have either. I was looking for an example of something we've done with daisies, but I really honestly couldn't see find one. Okay, so I thought this was uh, this was kind of cool. Because we hadn't seen one with daisies. See, the red, re you know, the read receipt, red receipt works, provided the person acknowledges that you want to send that they want you to send that back to them. Because I've had that before. Somebody sends me something that says you want to send a, you know, a reply back that you've read it. And I say no. So, I don't know. I just think of stricter policy. Because I think all, any puzzle should be able to be done in a, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. You got to just yeah. If we don't hear back, then go on to. We have a lot of people that want to play. Want to play. Yeah, again. I've got 500 people that want to do this, so I've got plenty of people. I just got to figure out how to communicate. You know, and if we don't, and if we don't have people, then we don't do it. Nope. You know, that's it's easy. To, it's really fast. It's so simple. Carol just sent hers in. Uh, I don't have that page up. Most of them I've gotten back have been great. I'm really impressed. The one I used in the newsletter was exactly what I was looking for, that style. Daisies in a teacup, I won from your auction, Martha T. Oh, then we don't, yeah. Then no, we don't need to do this. Okay, show's over. Thanks, everybody. We've already done daisies. Uh, you know, I hadn't realized that, but you're absolutely right. We had that one, didn't we? See, we paint too much. That's the problem. Well, and if we give them away, then I, I you know, I have to... You then know, she I, doesn't realize it and forgets. You know, sometimes they, we're giving them away, right? But that's okay. And, you know, or we sell them. Yep, sell them. So then, but you're right that we did a daisy in a teacup, didn't I we? I remember that now. Yeah, well, you know, one thing, I do have a list of all my paintings somewhere, and I can always look them up and see if we've done it, but I didn't have anything to show you tonight, I guess. That's what I was saying. Goldie says my video keeps freezing. Cheers, you're in. 
we're good here and no problems. I haven't froze yet. He also did daisies on the puffin rock. Oh, that's right. We did, didn't we? This was just a test to see if anybody watches our stuff. Yeah, we did do the daisies on the puffin rock. Anybody that's currently working on the Baccarat puzzle project, what's the due date? As soon as you can get it back. I would hope to have it back by this week. But like I said, I'm still tracking down people. So we're... I'll take a look at that tonight and see what we can do. So kind of fun, right? So now it's starting to, now you kind of kind of see where we're at with this, right? Well, that's a different, okay. So it matters the same kind of like what you do. Email them first, and when they reply, just attach the puzzle piece. That's a good way to do it. Oh, that's clever. See, we knew we had some bright people out here. Someone had figured out for Well, us. I had a 500 people. Somebody must know what they're doing, because we certainly don't. We had to have people uh, come up with that. Barb says, though, Ginger, you have not done daisies in this style. Well, no, we haven't done really an Art Nouveau piece like this, right? No. So, um... I like that puffin. That was a good. That was a good painting. The puffin one. It's a very, very light green here. It's a good way to do it. We'll send out if you're still participating, and you got three days to respond. I like that. It could be the same email. I just say your puzzle piece will be attached to your reply. To your reply, yeah. There you go. Now we're cooking, people. I knew you guys would come up with something for me. Okay. So let's see. I'm still not seeing Michelle or Mitchell's. There it is. Oh, yeah, Sherry. Sherry, yeah, I got it like 15 times. A lot of different resolutions. Yep, you're good. Oh, nice piece. Good job. That's a nice one. Okay. Tell you, the pieces I've been getting back, I'm excited. I just want to get more of them. So, Sherry, yes, yours came in six times. Thank you. Uh, yes, Donna, the, the, new, the, the photo in the newsletter was really the ideal way to do it. That's exactly what I was looking for. She had a little crop marks there where she thought it was, and it just bled past the edges. That's what's called bleeding the edge. And I'll use that for an example for the next one. I've got another one already lined up. Well, now it's starting to make a little bit more sense, my queen. I'm okay. telling you, before it was a little, a little you bizarre, sure, right? <laughs> a little different. I'm liking it though. Okay, so you weren't sure before what we were painting, right? Is that what you're telling me? John, how do we know if you receive our answer? I guess, Goldie, I'd have to know what the question was. Typically, I'll write back something very quickly, like a thank you or something, just to acknowledge. If I feel it needs to be acknowledged in that regard. Ginger, what is your longest painting project? How many hours or days did it take you? 
Oh, it just depends. I, I don't I don't know. Uh, just dep depends when I was doing it. Does that make sense? Um, Our longest video is like, what we've done is like nine or ten hours. Yeah. But how much, you know, your other projects? Yeah, I'll be videotaping as I put it together. I, some people seem to enjoy that. I certainly enjoy doing it. Yeah, it's John. People like to see John put it together, and it doesn't, you know, and it's kind of a nice thing for him to do. I think, right? Well, it helps people understand what I'm looking for and how it all works. Now, I'm not outlining each daisy, but I may come back and, you know, just do a few little bits of contrast on some of the petals. Okay, so, so you just kind of see how they're starting to pop up a bit now, because I'm coming back with a little bit, just a thin line of this. I get you. So this is um Need to order varnish. What brand do you use and always should it be matte finish? We use Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Gloss Medium and Varnish and then we also get their matte varnish, but you have to have the gloss to go on before you do your matte. So keep that in mind. So you see that you, that this is actually. We have a see, video out there on that too. So you can do it, kind of layering this. Do you guys kind of see how I'm going? All this is getting layered with a light blue. And that you think it's just one color blue, but it really isn't. I've got a little bit of yellow in this blue and a little bit of white. So I want some. You know, let's just put some make a light blue over here because as you know acrylics dry darker so I want a little bit of lighter blue up there like that and uh, okay getting pretty close to done here but not quite totally finished but uh, getting um, Getting Close closer. in on it. Close in on it. Work this, uh, you know, uh, just doing another coat of the light paint on here like this. And remember, we have this painting we're giving away, then uh, last week's Thursday show painting, and also a Salvador kit. It's a threefer. Yeah, there's three three paintings to be given away tonight. No, two paintings and paint. <laughs> yeah, three paintings to be given away no, tonight. No, two paintings and paint. Why do you keep saying three? I don't know. Two paintings and paint. I lied. Because it's numbers. I understand. I don't know. Why did I say that? I give up. <laughs> How many people are wanting this? Oh, not even 300 yet. Your eyes are pretty good today. If you have any interest in any of this, now would be the time to enter because she's closing in very shortly on the finishing strokes yeah we are getting down to the thin, thin but you see it's a very different again it's a very different style of painting and you might want to look up uh, Art Nouveau and see about, of what we speak and uh, Yeah, if you use Liquitex matte varnish, you don't put a varnish over the top of that. That's done. It doesn't look like it's done, but that's that's your finished varnish. You have to do a gloss though before you put your matte on. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's keep going here with my weird my this this weird little picture, right? a weird little picture. It's kind of cool. The trick is to sort of bury the, um, you want to bury the, the, the blues, the, the different colored blues.
you know, you'll see when she's just doing a few things like that. And, um, my little gray color here. Okay, I think I'm pretty close to being finished, John. I just have to, um, I tell you what I want to do. I'm going to give this a dry, and then I'm going to take my Posca pen. I need to bring those flowers up whiter than they are, and I can do that with a pen. Just pop the flowers so they're a little bit, have a little bit more white on them. So you're going to dry first? Well, yeah, you ha can't put a wet Posca pen over. Well, stuff, I was just asking, because you are over there shaking, you weren't drying. Well, no, I'm going to be drying, but I'm just, um, I've got to... Put some color on this one, All right? See, we would have muted you too soon. We certainly don't want to do that. No, don't mute me too soon. It'd and be then more I want flogging at the at the uh, moat. Some light, light yellow, white here. So, so these. There we go. So June would like to say, Ginger is the key to the style. No straight lines. Everything looks. Everything looks. It's. It's also the the colors. They're muted it's, it's, colors. It's, it's, they're they're muted, muted colors, and it's. It, they're not. They're they're kind of pastels. The colors are all in the sort of the pastels. Right, and that's the. You know. That's what you want to do. Some some pastels, and I mean it's just it's it's just different, isn't it? Don't you think? It is definitely. All right, I'm going to dry this, and then we'll. Okay. While she's muted, uh, Nancy wants to know, why do you have to do a gloss varnish first? Well, one, the direction set it. And two, when you apply the matte varnish, you can't tell where you've been. So I find it easier to, one, to have the color. You can put the gloss on it, and, and it pops everything out. All the colors will come back, up, back bright and, and cheery. And then when that's dry, you put your matte on it, and you can tell where you've been. So that's primarily the reason. Um, Candy says it says on Liquitex not to use as a final varnish. I don't remember seeing that. I'll have to go check that directions. And Heather would like to know the background that you have on this particular one. Is that a lady in the back and her bare shoulders? No, <laughs> but it could be. That's what I love. It's modern art. So it's it modern art. It's your interpretation. It could be. See, yes. that's the fun thing. It just. People don't look at it and dismiss it and say, oh, that's daisies. They have to look at it a little longer, don't they? You know? Yes. Ginger, I, I just used my Matisse teal, and it is and it was runny. Is this normal? If it's heavy body, it should not be runny. Well, here's what's running on it. It's um, the polymers come... Separated. It's not water. The polymer is, your paint is a mixture of polymer, medium, liquid, you know, it's just a plastic, and pigment. And it's become un, um, unbound. Un, well, you know, it's just, it's no longer, it's doing that, it's thing, It's not right? binding. It's no longer binding. It's no longer binding. Either a guy hurt in so shipping. You could you could squeeze it all out and put it in a jar and mix it together and you could save it. Or squeeze up the tube. I you know. Try to you 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 you. That's very typical of it. That I have found that that is very typical of Matisse. How's that? I want the small one here. Any ideas why the screen is frozen so many times? Change your resolution down in the player. Move your mouse over there. Little gear. Change it down to like 360 or 720 or 540 or 480. Pick a lower number. Uh, Barbara, this is a ginger design, not another artist. So this is called Art Nouveau, and it's a style. This is, called is Art Nouveau related to Art Deco style? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Probably in the same neighborhood. Yeah, I think so. About receiving the puzzle piece, sorry for the confusion. Oh, Goldie, yeah, I mean, if you said you got it, I would not probably acknowledge that. I would just check you off the list. 
So then what are you saying, John? She asked me, you know, because I sent out a notice, did you get your pieces? And some people responded back that they did. And she wanted to know, would you respond back to that one? And I would not respond back to that one, only if I did not get it. Well, I... But I feel like the, the, the other idea is good. You want to play, reply to this email, then I'll send you your piece. You got three days. Clock's ticking. Yeah, right. I like that. Because then I can just come going right down the list. Check them off. Gone. Yeah. And if you don't reply in three days, you'll be kicked out of that particular group and you have to re-register or go back to the back of the line. Ooh, I'm mean. Really? Mm -hmm. All of that, right? I can't keep track of the people. I got 500 people that want to play this game. So I did 84 this time, try to get more people involved. All right, okay. folks, she is coming to a closing moment, I can tell. Let's go ahead and uh, get those entrees in, and we can do a drawing for last Thursday's, which we thought was a marvelous lesson, but nobody seems to like it. Or a little, what kind of flower was that one? It's like a sunflower in a, in a jar, right? Oh, it's a baby sunflower, then. John, how do you get to Tech Bear? Uh, if you do search on YouTube, The Tech Bear, you will see Sammy's picture in the logo, in the little picture. Barbara's in studio. I don't know your last name from that. Oh, this is then. All right, you guys. There's our um, there's our little vase. That's a great vase. And uh, there's our daisies, which are very different, aren't they? Yep. Do you think so? I think they're very different. Oh, we had a lot more entries since my last call. 342. So, you know, I mean, it's just it's something different to do. Let me put this, lighten this up here. All right, we were going to draw first for last week's. Let me just show how this would look in them. Here's, here's what we're drawing for now. This is what we're going to be drawing Let for that. Let me back out of Scotia. Whoopsie, wrong one. Hold on a second. There we go. That's what we're drawing for right now. So the gal already won a painting and generously gave it back to the group and said, I've already won one. I've don't feel it's fair to win two, so she gave it back to the group, and we gave her a, a set of the Salvador paint. So we'll be doing the Salvador paints today, and then two paintings. Now you got it, my queen. That's what we're doing. So there's that one, okay? And I have a winner for that one from Pennsylvania. Just do that one yellow, and I'll put it right. Where am I going to put this? I'll put it here. Um, the, so what is that painting called? What do we call that one? That was the vial. That's yeah, right. so it was a, well, I called it a bottle, but it was a, you yeah. know, vial. bottle and sunflower. Bottle. Okay. So this person won that. Oh, good. There's a person that won it. That's good to know, right? And they're from Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania. That's no where my less. daughter moved to, Pennsylvania. Oh, well, can you say that now? I can say that now. She moved to Pennsylvania. I got yelled at. Winner of the vial painting with yellow flower is Ann Ebby. Ann Ebby? E B Y. Ebby. Ebby. All right. Congratulations. Ann Ebby, you are the winner of last week's. When that? Which I like. That was Thursdays. Last Thursdays. You guys you haven't last seen Thursday. this video. This is a great video. Very few views on it. Well, if you give me your that. address, that's ready to go out tomorrow because I've already shellacked it. All right. And this, um, here's our Art Nouveau piece. That's what we're going to do now. That's what we're doing. You know, that's our Art Nouveau. Let's get and, a number um, for the Art Nouveau piece. Yeah. Huh? How fun is that, right? And something a little bit different. It's, not, it's, it's modern art.
And, you know, that's what we're... And you set, set the different style. Now, remember, last time, you guys... We, this is going out tomorrow. Remember the poppies? And we talked about three things you needed to know about flowers in a vase. And you'll notice that we did those. We've got some flowers going, kind of looking th down that way, up this way, over that way. Um, that's something that, you know, I think this is a, it's a different style, right? Then this is more Impressionism. This is uh, Art Nouveau. Okay. Winner of the Daisy painting is Linda Blue, also known as Doug Blue. Hi, Linda. Awesome. Wonderful. Linda Blue thought your question, she, I think it was Linda that had a question about the puzzle. She didn't understand it. It was in your comments on on um, uh, the tech bear, by the way. She didn't understand oh. your video. I'll go over. All right, so we have those two winter painters are out. Kind of different, isn't it? Just totally different. It's very different. Right. So, Linda, congratulations if you send me your address. Yours will go out next week. Awesome. All right. All right. So, Linda, there, there you go. And then, um, so if you guys th think this is f f this is fun, uh, why don't you tell us? And uh, we're gonna s sign off here pretty no, quick. No, no, no. We have to do the Salvador kit. Oh, someone got a Salvador kit. That's right. I can show something else while you're tr doing that. John's drawing for the Salvador kit. Some of you may know that we have an Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. We showed you the the large. Um, book piece, the 18 to 24, but this week, not all lessons are hard. We have everything from beginner to the most advanced lessons we can come up with. This is coming, uh, this will be our release for this, this week. week. This coffee cup with the um, the birds in the fall over the Hudson. Coffee cup over the Hudson. Another one of your ovals. That's one thing everybody should be practicing is your ovals. We've got that free downloadable um, ovals practice sheet on um, our beginner acrylic academy. I suggest you guys just keep up, because that's one thing I get back in the pack all the times people have trouble with ovals. So we got this little tin cup, um, you know, over the Hudson, and uh, inspired by a trip we took to that area last year. It was a great little place. And so who won the um, who won the Somebody painting? from Fort Wayne. So that's like, like Texas. Is that Texas? No, I think it's Indiana. Indiana, okay. Do we have a Fort Wayne in Texas? I we have I a Fort Worth. Yeah, it's true. We have a Fort Worth. I don't know if we have a Fort Fort Wayne. Well, we should talk to the governor say we want a Fort Wayne. You think that would help? Do you think no. that anybody would care? Nobody would care. You said we wanted that? Nope. Okay. Nobody ever cares. They don't care about us. All right. June challenge will be posted within the next uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next three days. It will be up before Thursday's live show this week. Winner of the Salvador. Oh, speaking of Salvador paint sets, let me just announce this. If you are in the UK or a place that's not the US where Amazon doesn't have them, you can write me and she is going to try to ship directly from the factory to you while they try to get Amazon in the other areas up to speed. Winner of the Salvador set is that person. Wow, so if you guys Bring are wondering out. what that is, we don't have the newest one, but those are the paints I've been using tonight. We like and those And if paints. you like them, I mean, for $25, you can get 24 paints plus a large tube of white, the new sets, and easy open caps, and um, uh, 12 brushes, and um, some stuff, you guys. And that's, uh, you go to... Um, we want to give the, the Amazon link to that. Is it's right the, in our description. It's right in the description. Does the discount code still work? I don't know. You have to try and let me know. So let's try the discount code because that was 15% uh, off of that. And this, we found it's a, it's a lovely paint and fantastic value. So there you go. So congratulations to each and every one of our winner winner chicken dinners. Yeah. Thank you, Steffi. Yeah, please use the contact us on one of our many websites. Links are in the, we're right there or in the descriptions. And let me know your mailing address. Just don't write me and say, hey, I'm a winner, which I get a lot because you're all excited. And we appreciate your excitement, but I really need a mailing address. And question the other, of the day, my queen. The question of the day is, uh, what style of art do you guys prefer? Oh. Impressionism, realism, uh, abstract. I mean, what, what is your preference? And what, did you like uh, learning some new stuff? 
and we'll see you Thursday for something else. And your answer may determine what we do. <laughs> you never know. See you guys. All right, thanks everybody. Bye. We'll see you Thursday. This bump again. Woohoo! Yeah, bump again. They can't see it. Already change the screen. Oh, this bump. <laughs> this bump. <laughs>